Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make basses like the ones in track Silent by Loom but it's the Monroe remix. So this is the original track. And this is the bass that we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. So as you can see, this bass is divided into two layers. We have a main reese that then goes up. And then we have a secondary layer for that bass that acts as a little plug and complements that bass. So let's just jump into the first layer and then the second one. So for the first bass, we're going to be holding G and then F at the end. So now let's jump into Serum. And so here I have an initial dispatch. And the first thing we're going to do is to set up the oscillator, which is very, very simple. It's just a lot of unison, 16. Um, now, a lot of people will ask if it's not uh, the best to use something like an odd number that has a perfectly tuned voice in the middle. Yeah, you can leave that. That's, that's better. So let's actually use that in this case. Let's now bring the cutoff of the filter down specifically to 167 hertz. Bring the resonance down and then boost the drive. There you go. And then that's it for this layer. Like this is, this is it. This is as simple as that. Now an alternative way that is a little bit uh, cleaner is for you to have, again, a sine wave here that acts as a super clean self, of course, with the random face all the way down. And then you can just use a sine wave here like this and only do the harmonics in this oscillator this way for example you can take from the top one and then do kind of an exponential graph uh, in reverse like this apply all the unison filter that and now you have the same reese but with the cleanest sub that it can have So just two alternatives on the base design for that layer. So now let's jump into the next layer. Okay, so the notes for the second base are going to be Fs. Just jumping in octaves. And now let's jump into the Serum. And so here we're going to load an analog wavetable, basic MG. We're going to load this type of pseudo square saw that has weird harmonics on it. It sounds very, very cool. It has a nice, uh, pleasant uh, curve. And we're going to boost the unison a lot. And then we're going to distort this a lot. So we're going to go into the effects tab, boost the tube distortion. And then we're going to filter everything here with an MG low 6. We're going to be creating an LFO shape like this. And now we get this little nice plug. We're going to boost that a little bit. And now let's jump into the post processing. So now here in the post processing, of course, we're going to take this uh, sound out of the sub and maybe even a little bit out of the highs. So this is the range that we're going to be using. You can be a little bit more flexible with it, but that should be good enough. This is the final result. And that's the bass right there. So that's how you make basses like Monroe in the track Silent by Loom. So if you liked the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dnbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.